G'day, I'm Tim Thompson. I'm at the Henty Agricultural Machinery Field Days and I'm with Brendan from Gallagher. Brendan, how are you, mate? Good, thank you. Mate, I'm standing in front of a fairly relaxed fence here. Yes. Hey. I like to see this. It the is. more movement in the fence, the less they break, isn't it? It is. It's a Gallagher eye post. It's a suspension fence. Yep. So there's plenty of suspension in it. So if an animal does push on it, there's elasticity in the fence that will go in and out. And the good thing about that is if a, if a roo or something hits it and they, they make it move, it's just going to bounce back, isn't it, it? rather back. than break. It does bounce back to the same spot it was in. And it's quite solid. There's no movement in the post of an animal or a kangaroo hits it. They're a really strong insulator. That's what they are. They're just an insulator. It goes onto the post, fully insulated. You're earthwise insulated as well. So there's no leakage of electricity whatsoever. So I don't have to be scared of this. No, if I've don't. used insulators before, this is just an insulator. A heavy duty insulator. Now this also connects to steel posts. Let's go down a little bit yep. and have a look at one of them. So this is your insulator attached to a steel post and you only need two clips. There's something about these clips though, isn't there, that's new? Yeah, it is. The end of the clips turn back into the fence so it's less likely for a animal to rub or get caught on it. And that's important that. it isn't is it? Important. You don't want any sort of protrusion off an electric you fence don't. particularly do you? No or any fence really. You don't yeah. want any wire any point on the fence that an animal can cut themselves or get tangled up in. And it's a simple thing but your holes actually line up with the steel post. Yeah we've put some extra holes in them now so there's 13 holes there it lines up with the steel post holes. Yep so yeah. just as strong but Just lines destroy. up with the post so you don't have to go and find other holes. That's right. Now you've changed the shape a little bit as well. Yeah, we have. It sits back into the post neatly. So it's chamfered into the chamfered post and into locks the post. in a bit better. Yeah, it locks into the post. It doesn't seem like a big revolution, but the big revolution is really in the energizer, isn't it? Yes, the fence is only as good as what the energizer is. Tim, it's, if your energizer in the last 10 years in electric fence, and energizers have improved out of leaps and bounds. Yep. The biggest change in energizers, you can have an issue with a fence and you don't lose the whole fence. So if you design your fence right and you put the right energizer on it, you'll have less maintenance problems because the energizers can compensate if there's an issue. So if people have tried electric fences before but it was 20 years ago, it's probably time to have a look at them again because a smaller fence can actually be an exclusion fence now with the new energizers. Yes, that's right. You don't need the height, you need the amp flow and the power from these big energizers now to make a barrier down low on the fence for the feral animals which is trying to push through. Because it's a bit of a misnomer that most feral animals jump the fence, most of them will actually try and push underneath. Yeah they will, they'll try to push underneath, look for a weak spot underneath, yep. so you need the power down low and the construction of the fence done right so that they get maximum power and if, once they've had a shock from the fence, next time they come up they won't even get to the fence. They'll feel the induction, they'll feel the induction coming off the fence and they leave it alone. So a fence like this allows you to save money over a standard wire exclusion fence. It's a lot cheaper. Yeah it is. It's a lot cheaper. It's easy to put up. It's um, yes, and Easier to repair. It's only single line wires. It is Anyone to repair, can repair them. Very easy. And it's easy to monitor now with the energizers as well. But the big work. message is get a good energizer, it get is. one of these new Gallagher i-series energizers because you're not only going to get alerts if something goes wrong, but if something goes wrong and you're not around, it'll push through that problem it'll anyway. Still, you might lose your eight or 10,000 volts, but you still have four or 5,000 volts that the fence is still doing the, doing its job. And that's uh, what the big change in the last decade's is. been, hasn't it? It is. That yeah. You can keep power in the fence when you have an issue. The other big thing in Australia that people don't realise with electric fences is earthing. Now there's a technique to get a better earth out of any fence, but particularly exclusion fences. When the power comes out and an animal touches it, if you haven't got an earth return, it goes into the ground back to the earth stakes. Now an earth return is literally utilising the non-energised wires in your fence as an earth anywhere along the fence, as isn't an it? Earth. So when the animal touches alive and an earth wire, electricity goes back through the earth wire yep. along the fence to the earth on the energizer, not through the ground. And Particularly when you're dealing with big voltage and big joules, yep. ground becomes less reliable, doesn't less it? Less reliable. We've got no control over the conductivity of the soil, yep. so we can take that out of the equation by, by making the earth return. The electricity is trying to find the easiest route back to the energizer. If we make an easy route along the fence, it'll yep. go along the fence. And a fence like this is becoming more of a psychological barrier than a pain barrier, isn't it? The animals can actually hear it and feel, feel it, it before they touch it. That's right. It's as I say, induction and noise from the electricity, the animal feels that, hears it, 
and they leave it alone. And once again, that's all down to the new style of energizers yep. that you guys are bringing yes, out the I and making this possible. That's right, the I-Series energizer puts that more pressure in the fence, makes that bigger induction and more noise in the fence that the animals leave it alone. Well, I'm really excited about this. It's faster, it's cheaper, it's longer lasting because it's flexible and it's technology. All of the things that I love. Thanks for your time right, today, mate. You and if you want to find out more about Gallagher Permanent Electric Fencing for your exclusion fence problems, get onto the Gallagher stand and find out all about it.